Hey again! So here we are on week two of the Pagan Challenge, the YouTube Pagan Challenge. And no, I am not wearing the exact same clothes as I did last week. I am recording this on the same day because it's quick and I can. So week two has to do with are you in or out of the broom closet? And I will say neither. How's that for decisive? being decisive? Okay, so why do I say I'm not either, I'm neither in nor out of the broom closet? Well, I never felt as though I was in the closet. As said in my last video, I did not research or look into any sort of religion growing up. And even if I had, it's not something I think I would have felt I needed to hide from my parents. My parents have always been pretty easygoing. There's nothing I've felt that I ever needed to hide from anyone. Um, I also am pretty bad about sharing every detail of, of my life with complete strangers at the drop of a hat. So I could be just kind of weird that way anyway. So I never felt like I was in the, in the broom closet. Now as to out of the broom closet, the reason I say I'm not out of it either is because I don't actively promote or advertise my religion. It comes up on occasion. When it comes up, I mention it. But I don't feel a need to mention my religion to anyone. It's not their business. If they're curious, then yes, I'll talk to them about it. Sometimes I'm curious about other people's religions, and I don't mind chatting with them about it. But again, it's not something I feel that I need to hide, and it's not something that I feel I need to actively expose either. So it just is what it is. It comes up when it comes up or not. The only time I ever felt somewhat conflicted about my religion, because the only thing really that would advertise my witchiness in the everyday is, and I'm not wearing it today, but my pentacle. I basically every day have my pentacle on, and it only seemed like an issue once when I got a job at an Orthodox Jewish school. So that was a little bit of a trick for me, or a little bit uncomfortable for me, just because I knew that the focus of that school was religion. And that I, as a general studies instructor, was not encouraged or it was not my place to have religious discussion. And my necklace occasionally does start that discussion. So I felt it may not have been entirely appropriate to wear my necklace, but I squashed that because... <laughs> I am very much a believer in freedom of religion, and if my co-worker can wear a cross to work, if my co-worker can wear a Star of David, then I should have no problem wearing my pentacle to work. And I, I have known other people who are uncomfortable with this, with wearing their jewelry to work. But as long as it's not a huge thing, like it's not a you know huge crucifix or something that I'm wearing and you know you've seen the huge pentacle pagan wear that is a little extreme no matter what no matter what religion but as long as it's not something like that there should be no reason why I can't wear my own personal religious trappings and I am not going to bring up the conversation I'm also not going to ignore it if it does come up most of the time it doesn't though so that's kind of a long explanation, but in essence, I have never felt like there was a broom closet. My broom is in the corner, out for the world to see. Whether or not someone actually comes in and sees it is another story. So I hope that was helpful, and I will continue to watch everyone else's responses to this challenge and see how everyone else feels about it. Thanks very much, and talk to you later.